Hey guys, this is Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 1, 2, and 3. Okay, there's a tyrant around. It's her? This is her. The girl who tells fortunes. The horse? They're doing a magic spell to make her win a race. That's a beautiful horse. It's like all black. The horse's name is Monaghan Boy. Kempton, three o'clock, Monday. You ladies have a bet yourselves, but don't tell anyone else. Performance enhancing prophecies. Damn, that was a pack of three blind people. Damn, coal workers. Finn? Off as mad as hell. Isn't that guy like six years old or some shit? Are you kidding me? What does a ten year old know about hell, eh? I'm 11 Sunday. Okay, so it's an it's an underground betting ring, okay. Highly illegal. Now you were seen doing the powder trick down at Gaddison Court. Times are hard. People need a reason to lay a bet. We don't mess with Chinese. Look at the book. Chinese have cutters of their own. We agreed, Arthur. What are cutters? Do you have permission from Billy Kimber to be fixing races, hmm? Wait, so that whole powder horse act thing was to get people to bet on it, but it really won't win? I'm calling a family council tonight at 8 o'clock. I want all of us there. Family council? Are they brothers? Oh my god. Fuck. Doctor. Doctor. Doctor something, but he's in Jurassic Park. Comrades, we're here today to take a vote of strike action. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. The blood. Shed on Flanders fields. The sweat of your brows. Who reaps the rewards? Or do they sit at home, comfortable, with a full belly, while you scrape to find enough yeah, to put shoes on your children's feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is the reward they offer you for your sacrifices made? A fucking cut in your wages. Capitalism. Crown of a prince. One of my union comrades is a sister, works in a telegraph office at the BSA factory. She says over the past week they've had messages coming up from London to the brass, from Winston Churchill himself. Something about a robbery. A robbery Ooh, is this of national significance. A heist TV show. You know, there are days when I hear about the cuttings and beatings that I really wish I'd let you take that bullet in France. Believe me, there are nights I wish you had. Let's go. I don't know what this is about, but... Come on. Danny! Danny! Danny, you're home. We're all home in England. You're not in France. PTSD. Oh, hell. Did I do it again? He did it again, Danny. 
Damn, that's sad. Mr Shelby, you have to do something about it. Damn right, Harry. You pay the Peaky Blinders a lot of money for protection. You're the law around here now, Tommy, aren't you? Maybe you should put a bullet in Danny Wiz Bang's head like they do with mad horses. Whoa. Look at the gun. Recognize it. <gasps> Get up off your ass, you mum pink pig. Oh, Paul! What the fuck did you do that for? All right. Finn was playing with this this afternoon by the cut. It was loaded. Nearly blew Ada's tits off. It must have fell out of my pocket. He said he found it on the sideboard of the betting shop with bullets in it. Look, now having four kids without a woman is hard. It might be harder. Now, come on, we're late. They're recruiting Protestant Irishmen to come over here as special. To do what? To clean up the city, Ada. He's the chief inspector. How do you know so bloody much? Because I asked the coppers on our payroll. I reckon it's communists he's after. So this copper's going to leave us alone, right? They say Catholic men who crossed them used to disappear in the night. Shit. You have nothing more to say to this meeting, Thomas? No. Nothing that's women's business. This whole bloody enterprise was women's business while you boys were away at war. What's changed? Yeah. I've been talking to the wives of factory hands. Detectives have been asking questions in the proofing shops. Nothing happens in that factory without you knowing about it. Speak. God and Aunt Polly are listening. I had a bar in London for some motorcycles. I asked my men to steal me four bikes with petrol engines. They picked up the wrong fucking crate. Shit. Oh, whoa. Oh, this sweet baby of Mary. Inside, we found 25 Lewis machine guns. 10,000 rounds of ammunition, 50 semi-automatic rifles, 200 pistols with shells. Jesus, Tommy. So that's why they sent a cop from Belfast? Yeah, to investigate the fucking shipment of stolen guns. You sell those guns to anyone who has use to them, you will hang. Seriously? Then you'll do the right thing. Yeah, right. If we go down as far as Greek, we could go to a pub. Your brothers have friends in Greek. They have friends everywhere. We'd have to walk to London. I don't want to be always sneaking about. Soon. We'll tell them. When? I'm here about the job as a barmaid. I saw it in an advertisement. Job's been filled. It was in yesterday's paper. Believe me, love. I'm doing you a favour. I'm not asking for favours, I'm asking for employment. You too. Nice. <laughs> How would you know? And too pretty. They'd have you up against a wall. Yeah. I have experience. <laughs> With drunken... I don't know. Watch. And listen. I wish I was. Oh, those are spittoons. Fucking hell. Oh, they're. Oh, my God. Enough. How many fucking. When, the, when was the last time you emptied that shit out? You. Disgusting bastard. Ooh. Shit. In Ireland, my singing made them cry and stopped them fighting. Okay. Well, I hope you know a lot of songs. Beggars and thieves left to run on the streets and astride the whole stinking pile of wounds and rotten flesh. Your masters. The man who you touch your cap to. The Peaky Blinders. You are worse than them. Those of you who have taken their bribes these years since the war. Those of you who look the other way. You are worse than them. 
God damn you for soiling your uniforms. Shit, man. I don't trust any of you until you earn my trust. These are the new men who will bolster your ranks. By the time the sun sets, they will be sworn in and in uniform, and by sunrise tomorrow, they will be on the streets. Hey, ladies. When you're out with a blinder, you don't have to kill. It's always the cocky brother that will fuck things up. Coming. What do you know about the robbery? What robbery? What do you know about the robbery? What's worse to God? I don't know what you're talking about. Crack. What fucking robbery? I can tell just by snuffing the air whether or not you're lying. I'm not fucking lying. All right, I'm no fucking one. He didn't tell him about the guns. It wasn't a robbery. It was like a finder's keepers kind of thing. That is well within my power to have you and the rest of your scum family face down on the canal before the year is out. On the other hand, we can help each other. He wants him to be a... a rat? I need a bottle of rum. Grax, whatever it is, it's on the house. A whole bottle? Yeah. yeah, they're getting together. Are you a whore? What the fuck, man? Because if you're not, you're in the wrong place. If I say something's on the house, then say nothing to whoever you're serving. If, if they decide that they want you, then there's nothing anybody could do about it. What? Looking for you since he got back from France. Tommy doesn't want anybody at all. <laughs> he said Mr. Churchill sent him to Birmingham. Something about a robbery. So he doesn't know. He said he wants us to help him. We don't help coppers. He wants us to be his eyes and ears. I said we'd have a family meeting. <laughs> Take a vote. Damn, someone's gonna find them and he's gonna be dead. So did Arthur say, uh, kind of a deal this new copper offered him? God, the, the second your balls are empty, it's back onto politics. Someone's going to have enough of this guy and just fuck him up. Go home, crazy man. I say go home, crazy man. Shit, man. I said go home. Damn. Oh, did he stick him? Oh, shit. Fuck, man. Oh, is this like an act of war on the Italian gang or some shit? I didn't know there were Italian gangs in England. Secretary of State, this is Chief Inspector Campbell. Mr. Churchill, sir. May I say what a great honor it is to meet you? If it is the IRA Fenians, I will find them and find the guns. If it is the communists, I will find them and find the guns. If it is common criminals, I will find them and find the guns. To me, there is no distinction between any of the above. This is England, not Belfast. Bodies thrown in the rivers wash up in the papers here. We must keep the existence of these stolen guns out of the news, otherwise we're simply advertising them for sale. If there are bodies to be buried, dig holes and dig them deep. 
Uncle Charlie. A word. We could take him out to the turning point beyond Gas Street and leave him on the bank. They'd be found by rare women first thing. I have an alternative strategy. Tell Curly to take her out to the old tobacco wharf. There's a lock-up mooring we used to keep cigarettes. Have you lost your fucking mind? If they want them back this bad, they'll have to pay. That's the way of the world. Done. I'm told you that, sir. Reserved occupation. Are you in possession? I am, sir. Oh, my God. She's an agent. Awesome. But I don't want to be on the side of the cops, though. I want to be on the other people's side. It strikes me that it isn't Arthur who heads the Shelby family. It's the younger one. Tommy. I believe the guns were taken by the IRA. You must not let your personal history clear to your judgment. The IRA murdered my father will not affect my judgment. If you see any guns, check the serial numbers against that list. Danny, as you know, the man you killed was Italian. Those two men over there are his brothers. Shit. If I let the Italians do this, Danny, I'll cut off your manhood and let you drain. Shit. So to stop a war breaking out between us and the Italians, I said I would dispatch you myself. Shit. They're here to witness. Fuck. You look after my Rousey and my boys. Shit, man. That guy's just chilling there on the boat. A bloody one. Monaghan boy. Bloody one! Shit. Yeah. It won. And word will spread. So the next time we do the powder trick, it won't be just a garrison that'll bet on the horse. It'll be the whole of small eighth. And you know what? The horse will win again. And the third time we do it, we'll have the whole of Birmingham betting on it. A thousand quid bet on the magic horse. And that time, when we are ready, the horse will lose. But do they have enough for payouts for the three winnings? No, I don't think so. Wh what? 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 <laughs> Wait. Okay, Daddy. What the fuck? How do they fake that one? So that okay, I know, I know the purpose of it, so that the Italians. But how did they fake that? It was in front of their eyes. A shell full of sheep brine sounds pretty bad. Ah, it was meant to. So where are you attacking me? London. Tommy has a little job for you. A shell full of sheep brains? Yeah, but the shell is still made out of metal. How do you survive that? It was right behind his head. But okay, it's all right, fiction. All right, good first episode. Two twists that I wasn't expecting. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the show. I'm glad the first one, the first episode was nice. I like these historical uh, dramas. I I like I like the work they put into the costumes and the set and everything. I appreciate the hard work. Episode 2. Sam Neill. Jurassic Park. Alan. 
Alan, what was his name? Dr. Alan something. Hang on a minute. You're not swapping the family car for a bloody horse. Of course we're not swapping it. Huh? That'd be mad. We're gonna play two up. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I knew it. See, I knew it. Tell me, you bloody idiot. Shut up, Arthur. I won. Right. I promised Johnny I'd let him have a spin in the car if he lost. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Are you leave, boys, laughing at my brother. Hey! Chill come out, man. Come here! I asked you come a on. question. Come here, come on. It's just a crack. Once he ship, once he got the lingo, papa, she slingo. Once he latch a Roma. Well, latch a Roma. Yeah, but his mouth was a diddy koi whore. Shit, man. Oh, the blades. Fucking hell. Damn, chat shit get banged. This is the real one. Shit! Fuck, right in the eye. What did you expect, man? You can't call a guy's mom a whore. Especially if she's dead. Damn, it's a raid. Oh, this is when they're gonna get found out. Shit. Fuck. What is it? The police are rounding up the communists. Nice. Come on, Ada. If the cops find me, we're screwed. Fuck. You have to jump, Ada. I'll catch you. Come on. Look at this. Shit. A prescription for iron tablets for Ada fucking Shelby. Fucking hell. You've not seen her with me, okay, Mrs. Donovan? Just give her a cup of tea and let her stay until the police are gone. She's the sister of those Peaky Blinder devils. And yet, she's an angel. Come on, Aza. What are you going to do, Freddy? Hey, I'm going to have to leave town for a bit. A gentleman would take off his hat, put out his pipe. Not against the the benches. What the fuck, man? Is it the Holy Grail you're looking for? As a matter of fact, this is the Holy Grail I'm looking for. For. Yeah. Something precious, something stolen. Perhaps you Fucking know what I'm talking man. about. What the hell? Sorry. Misunderstood your intention when you pushed me against the wall. What is wrong with you, woman? Next time, I want to talk to the boss. Lick it tea rooms. Friday, 10 o'clock. Why are they breaking shit And up? when I say the boss, I mean Thomas. I thought, like, all, most Irish people were Catholics. Oh, these are the guys he brought from London? I don't know. If you know, let me know. The cops told everyone Arthur had agreed to it when he was arrested. They said the Peaky Blinders had cleared out to the fair to let them do it. No, I never said nothing to that copper about smashing up bloody asses. All right, which pubs do they do? The guns, the chain, the Marquis, all the ones that pay you to protect them. The only one they didn't touch mm. was the garrison. Make sure people think we were in on it. Will you talk to him? Yeah. You don't parley when you're on the back foot. V, Lash, what are you doing? We're having a fire. So the boy a picture of the king. What? Oh. Bring it to Waterloo Line. Interesting. Come on, boys. Lie out to God, you know what you're doing. I'm the reporter with the Birmingham Evening Dispatch. I had a phone call. Someone called Thomas Shelby. Come with me. Oh, he's getting the press. <laughs> 
There are some things I want you to write down. Now, first of all, it's not the people around here that is loyal to the king. It's the officers. You see, we don't want our beloved king looking down and seeing the things that have been done to us. So we are taking down his pictures. But why are you burning them? We went through hell, our king. Walked through the flames of war. Write all this down. And now we're being attacked in our own homes. These new coppers over from Belfast, breaking into our homes and interfering with our women. We don't think our king would want to see that happening. So we are lighting fires to raise the alarm. May I ask you in what... I hear there's been a bonfire in your city. There was a small fire reported around 9 o'clock, watery lane. Certainly nothing to trouble you about, sir. It seems one of his reporters was invited to the fire and discovered that they were burning pictures of the king. If there are arrests, there will be trials. If there are trials, there will be more newspaper reports which will necessarily mention the burning of the king's likeness. BSA on strike. Damn, that jam looks so good. I are killing our boys. Yes. How late are you? Shit, man. One week. Five weeks. Damn. Seven if you count weekends. I think it's a lack of iron. Five beasts you got there, Thomas. What is he worth falling out with the Lee family over? Oh, shit. He's got his name Just on it. Just passing it on. Declaration of war. The whole oh, league flag. You get used to it. This is noise. Good boy. Good boy. Don't fall in love with him. Of course you would. You said singing wasn't allowed. I'd like that to be one night a week when they're singing. Do you like horses? How's your fancy earning some extra money? Doing what? <sighs> to get out a nice dress. Want to take you to the races? Oh, is she telling? To tell me his fucking name. Freddy fucking Thorn. Yeah, your best mate since school, the man who saved your life in France. So go on, go on, cut him. Cut him up and chuck him in the cut. The longer you leave it, the worse it gets. I was 16. And I didn't dare tell anyone. Freddie will come back. In the end, I did it myself. Shit. I did it to myself. Fucking hell. And I almost died. You know the words. You're a whore. Baby's a bastard. But there's no word for the man who doesn't come back. Yeah. We'll take the train tomorrow. Go to the castle afterwards for a treat. Of course, she's not going to go. She's going to go looking for him instead. I chose this place because it was outside both of our jurisdictions. Do you want tea? <laughs> My men found this in the bedroom of a known communist. Are you also in bed? with the communists, Mr. Shelby. I do not share their fantasy. You and your specials will leave my businesses alone from now on. No more raids into our territory, no more smashing up pubs, no more lifting my runners. You will turn a blind eye to all of my gambling operations. Also, I am planning an expansion onto the racetracks. I intend to do business with Billy Kimber. He runs most of the legal tracks I'm betting outside of London. He has policemen on his payroll. I want you to put in a word with the Chief Inspector of Gloucestershire 
that his men should leave me alone when I make my move. That's a lot of demands. Give me a dozen of them. And what do I get in return? I have what you're looking for. In the weapons. I've left word with men I trust that if I am taken into police custody for whatever reason, those guns will be shipped to Liverpool. From there, they will be sent directly to Belfast and sold to the Irish Republican Army. If I sell them to the IRA, it won't be long before Mr. Churchill finds out. <laughs> I imagine you got into enough trouble over the burning of the King's photographs. That was just a taste. Damn. It's a good I'm deal. A fair man. It's a good it's a deal. It's a fair offer. Take it. Do we have a deal? Take it. No one gets hurt. I need an answer. Literally, because right he just wants people to back off of him and he wants the guns. Very well. But I'd prefer if we don't shake hands on it. <laughs> and why would I shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country? Damn. Thomas Shelby is now the beginning, <clears throat> the middle and the end of your mission. No matter how repugnant it may be, you must do everything you can to get close to him. Shit. And you seriously... Honeypotting her or something? Underestimate me in every way. Honeypot. Tell me, Kelly, what's wrong with yours? <laughs> you bought with the fair and bad feeling. The least put a bad seed in the hoof and got an old woman to put a spell. <laughs> so those lead bastards cursed him. It's going to his heart by tomorrow, I say. Shit. Seen curses like this twice. Can't take them back, Tom. Damn, they're gonna kill the horse. Sorry. Oh. How's your beautiful heart? Mm. That's why I'm drinking. I just put a bullet in his head. I don't get a dress like you asked. Thanks. Shetland's grand affair, is it not? The king will be there. King George? Nope. King Billy Kimber and all his men. For two pounds, you'll do what I ask you to do. I want three. <laughs> if I am meeting a king, I won't be wearing a cheap dress. You never worked in Dublin. So don't lie to me. I asked around about that pub he said you used to work in. Mm. My friend's over there. Damn. No one has heard of you. And bringing a child into the world alone ruins your life. What? So I'm right. He's seeing what and he wants to wrong. see. Right about what? I think there's some more carriages over there that are going to be empty. But we... oh, oh, Jesus. Well, that's good. Freddy. I've got a tip off. <laughs> Freddy, Tommy will kill you. It's Tommy who tipped me off. Oh, cute. Maybe he's got half a heart after all. Tommy got a message to me. He said, get out of town. Take her with you. Awesome. So? Damn, what a good guy. Whoa. Ada Shelby. He's a sweet guy. You marry me. Tommy's a sweet guy. Yes. Nice. <laughs> We're not going anywhere, Ada. Why? We're gonna stay here, we're gonna marry here. I'm yeah, why? Why not, me. actually? Why not? Yeah, get married now and no one will know. No one will know that she's pregnant. <laughs> Coppers. Shit. No. What is that? Oh shit. 
Holy shit. It's Billy Kimber. Oh, damn. Is there any man here named Shelby? How to get these men a drink? Everyone else go home. By the way, which one am I talking to? Who's the boss? <laughs> well, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Clearly. Are you laughing at my brother? Right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you, cos you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. <laughs> I want to know what you want. You fixed the race without my permission. The cop didn't hold up his end of the deal, the, in the chief inspector. That is my name, Ennis. You were also at war with the Lees, Mr Kimball, am I right? We have connections. We know how they operate. You have muscle. Together we can beat them, divided, maybe not. It would be an honor to work with you, Mr. Kimber. Nobody works with me. People work for me. Pick it up, Pikey. Sit. Sit down. So they are the Pikeys? I thought the Lee people. Okay, so I need some education on Pikeys. I thought they lived in places where those gypsies were living in. The Shelbys are Pikeys. You picked a fight with the Lees on purpose. Tommy, we can't mess with Billy fucking Kimba. Get yourself a decent haircut, man. We're going to the races. Yeah, please. All right, episode three. Oh, there's, there's steel workers, not coal workers. I've decided not to go to the races. Not unless you give me another two pound 10 shilling toward the dress. I've already given you three. How much did you pay for the suit you'll be wearing? Oh, I don't pay for suits. My suits are on the house, or the house burns down. So you want me to go looking like a flower girl? It takes a lot for a man from Sparkbrook to step inside this pub. Anyone with money or good intentions is welcome in the garrison. Rumours that there was a robbery. Some say there was word from the proof in Bay. It was the Peaky Blinders who took him. If you were to hear about the whereabouts of said items, we'd pay good money. You have good money? We have the collections from the pubs. For who do you speak? The people of Ireland. The Irish Republican Army. For the fact. For the fucking fact. Mm. Ten shillings. Buy something red. To match his handkerchief. Whose handkerchief? What do we know about the Black Swan? An operative has provided intelligence, and it is a place where IRA men gather. Will she do everything for you? She, sir. One female operative has proved more useful than Why any Why would he say that? Man. Why would he reveal the gender? Now they, they'll know it's her. She's the only woman that hangs around the garrison. My tactics come from my experiences in France. Most of my great lumps of men served in France too, sir. I serve my country every day. He's never gonna live that down. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ada and Freddie Thorne were married today. They defied your orders. They haven't left the city. Would it be so bad if they stayed? I told the commas Freddie wouldn't come back. It was part of the deal. What bloody deal? What happened to family votes? Mm. What happened to meetings? But it was a good deal. Two hundred pounds, Freddie. For what? For us. For a honeymoon that goes on forever. You think I can't handle Tommy Shobb? You can't. I'm you having can, trouble these bro, days and I'm twice on. the man you are. In America, Freddie. They've already had their revolution. You won't have to bother. Another good deal. Damn, these Shelbys know how to make deals. You went after him because he was IRA. I followed him because I thought he might have information. This is an active military mission. Your words. I'm doing my job. The death of a base Fenian doesn't concern me. Your welfare does. Killing a man affects the heart. You're collecting your suit for Cheltenham is very nice. How the bloody hell do you know? I know a lot of things, Mr. Kimber. And as I told you before, I know the Lee brothers. And I know they're going to be at the Cheltenham races as well. Yes, well, they're going to lose a lot of money on fast women and slow nags. No. They're planning on showing up in numbers and robbing your bookies, running chalk and rafflers. Tommy, you best have a word with Arthur as well. What's wrong with bloody Arthur? He's got the Flanders blues again. What's that? The Flanders blue, Flanders blue, Blues? People keep asking me questions that I don't know the answer to. Is it true your lady got married? So I don't know. Where's she living there? You know? So he's upset that no one tells him anything. Who killed the paddy from the Black Swan? Your dad. What paddy? Is it you, Peaky Blinders? Who stole the guns? And the BSA? I thought after your meeting, I thought you needed a break. <gasps> what bloody guns, Tommy? It fell off a wagon into our laps. And all you need to know is, it's us that has the machine guns now. And it's them that's in the mud. When I go back to England, I want to own my own pub. business to pass the money from the shop. Well, we know what to do. You spend two thirds of your life in pubs, just pour it instead of drinking it. Ah, sorry, gentlemen. Until you come in, what can I get you? I hope they give him money at least. He has no choice but to sell, but I hope they give him money, seriously. Like, don't be dickheads. Freddy Thorne. I thought you promised he wouldn't come back. I know he's in town. I'm dealing with this. Deliver Freddy Thorne to us. We'll take your sister in as an accomplice. She'll get four years for sedition. Damn. Or you can turn him in. That's a bad deal. Have you seen Freddie Thorne? No. Oh, or Tommy? Uh... Shit. Drink this first. No, I have to find them. I think I'm going to kill each of them. Wait. Who's going to kill whom? We need to talk. Oh. Oh. You're friends. You loaded Ada with your bastard. Because she's a Shelby. You thought it'd mean you'd be somebody. My God. You actually believe that? I've loved her since she was nine and I was 12. She loves me the same. This marriage will not stand.
shit. Oh. Oh, like I can't tell who's stabbing who. What are you doing back? You're supposed to be dead, bro. I got talking to some old bloke about Birmingham. He said there's been trouble. An IRA man shot. Their high command think it's the Peaky Blinders who shot him. Came up on the next boat to warn you. Get a message to him. Tell him to send someone to parlay. Tell him there's been a misunderstanding and we don't want any trouble. I thought he was going to do some Jackie Chan shit. The ladies are skimming money off legal bookies, running choke, selling rafflers, and beating up them as my boy. But today, we're going to stop them. What about Kimber's men? Thought he had his own protection. Kimber's let his troops go rotten. They're on the take from the lees to look the other way. We're going to show Kimber how it should be done. Trucks in lawless places. Can't stand petty criminals. This way. Hmm. You're lucky you're with me. You'd be wasting your money on fixed races. I always wondered, how do you fix a race? How should I know? He's not incriminating himself. Lady Sierra dug a little Connemara. You got lost when you went to the look for the boy riding a horse. Uh, dandy flower. If they ask about me, say that I'm Prussian. Don't speak a word of English. Come on, Bosch girl, earn your three quid. She's gonna fall in love with him and then join them. That would be awesome. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Hello, Rice. How's business? Oh. oh. Oh, the razor fucking. Me. Ah! No more choking on Billy Kimball's boys. We need the protection there. But is Tommy gonna be pissed about that? I don't know. We chased the laser across the track right the way down the Devon Road. We got every penny back. Oh, it's it's his plan, isn't it? You want to to my pub? Your money, Mr. Kimber. Rescued from the Lee brothers and returned to you with a request for a fair hearing. I want to suggest that from now on, you contract out your racetrack security with the Peaky Blinders. We deserve you a lot of money, Mr. Kimber. In return, you give us 5% of the take and three legal betting pitches at every race meeting north of the River Severn. Rising to six after one year if we are all satisfied with the service. He knows how to make deals. I love it. And let me throw a small condition into the mix. I have some business to settle first with this accountant, so you go on ahead with Kimber. Don't be that guy. Come on. Don't do that. Come on, man. That's fucked up. Look, I'll throw in an extra three quid for your extra time. I think I'm a whore. Whenever you want, just kick him in the balls. I'm a class in a contract. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. Shit. Come on, you weren't so stiff back there, were you? Hmm? You ever been in a house this big? What a cocky piece of shit. No one gives a fuck. Right, you little slack. I tried something, right? Yeah? I'm coming. What? No, sir, no. What are you doing here? I've got another hour. Just wait. 
Listen to me. Just listen to me. My conscience has the better of me. She looks good on the outside, but she has the clap. <laughs> yeah, syphilis. Can we shake hands and forget this ever happens? <laughs> Nice. Start of the day, I was Lady Sarah of Connemara. By the end, I was a whore with a clap. <laughs> You're a fucking bastard offering me like that. But then you change your mind. Why did you change your mind, Thomas? Good show, I like it. I'm gonna finish it.